Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's not the video I want to do. It's kind of the video I have to do. So I came out here about six months ago to set a record straight. And that was that the Alpine Village was actually still open and that only the restaurant was closed. That was six months ago. Today marks the day that the whole Alpine Village has closed. It's really a bummer too because I had high hopes that the remaining Alpine Village would stay open. So as a recording of that video six months ago, it was true that it was only the uh, Alpine Village uh, restaurant that was closed. And so there was no, it wasn't lost on me that the rest of the Alpine Village, the rest of the Alpine Village was struggling. But in my mind, there was still hope that, you know, this place could uh, see some kind of uh, revival of some sort to, to keep it open. Here we are six months later. Now, no one is allowed on the property unless you're here to clear out your own shop. That right there is a security guard. I tried to get by him, tried to ask him, tried, tried to uh, sweet talk him and to let me go in there and just film for a little bit and no go. So I have to remain on the vicinity of the place here and I believe right here is quite possibly the back of the uh, main market of Alpine Village. I really do feel like it's an end of an era, you know, you have a lot of these themed places that opened quite some time ago and a lot of them are closing down. Alpine Village was open for 50 years, something like over 50 years. So the backstory of the Alpine Village, from what I know, from what I've read, um, I know the very basics. Now, Torrance, California used to have a much bigger German population, and over time, apparently, that has decreased in numbers. Um, and uh, that's part of, that's probably part of the reason why this kind of closed down like it did. But also the shop owners are blaming the, uh, the uh, owners of the property itself. And they are saying that they were not advertising the Alpine Village like they should have. And because of the lack of advertisement of the Alpine Village, over time, you know, the, it's gotten less and less people. And when the pandemic happened, I think that's right around the time the restaurant closed. It looks like they're already tearing down. It happened very quick. Very, very quick. And a lot of the shop owners were pretty mad about the whole thing. But what I read is, uh, let me just read a part of this. They protested against what they called an unfair last minute notice and were later notified February 22nd would be the market's last day. This here is pretty much the remains of where the shot the uh, swap meet used to uh, happen you know every week right here and turn around and there's the uh, Alpine Village shops. And while well, this is the aftermath, completely empty parking lot from customers and no more swap meet. Quickly it happened, this person was going to go to the swap meet right here and he just got notified by one of the people over there that it's closed. So I just read another part of an article here and it says that, let's see if I can get that in there, the property where Alpine Village lies was sold this week. Sort owners learned a day after it went through after they were served with an eviction notice. They had 30 days to leave. 30 days to pack up shops that you probably had for at least 
10 years. I mean, the some of them for 50 years. There has to be something like, I don't know, I'm just gonna guesstimate 30 to 40 shops in there that all just lost their livelihood. See right there, someone putting products up into that truck right there. So they're clearing out the uh, the main market. Just watching this kind of unfold as it happens. seeing people drive by this place wanting to enter right here which is completely closed off thinking that the swap meet is still happening this is just fresh news I mean it closed in February 22nd it wasn't that long ago from the recording of this video it's probably a little hard to see through the camera but I do see glimpse glimpses of uh, people moving boxes to that Redondo storage truck there. Looks like it's a refrigerated truck so it's probably a lot of refrigerated items. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a YouTuber that covers pop culture and Americana. If that's something that interests you in any way, please hit that subscribe button hit that like button, and also check out the video on the screen right here. This is the first time I came out to Alpine Village when it was still open. Now a lot of the shops were closed when I came here, but it was still open for business at the time. Go check that one out. It's a little more hopeful than this video. Catch you guys in the next one.